Brush settings for inking and Adobe Illustrator. Okay, I'm going to go over to my layers palette and you can see I've got this one sketch in here of a hand and I want to lock this layer. This is going to keep me from moving that around as I'm sketching it, uh, sketching over it. Um, and the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on the word layer one and I can change a few things here. I can actually change the name of that layer one to something like hand if that's making things easier for me. I can do that. Um, I can also click on dim image 2. Now 50% is the default. I can change that to whatever number I want. I think 50 is going to be good. I'm going to, I'm going to hit OK. And it just dimmed the image as you can see. Um, I'm going to create a layer on top of that layer. And now with the sketch locked and dimmed, I can sketch on top of that without the chance of that layer moving and as I'm adding black lines to this um, trace it's not going to compete with the black lines of the actual sketch so dimming it down is going to help me out. Um, I'm going to click on the brush tool and change a few things here. Actually what you're seeing in the in the uh, tool preferences here is or this dialog box is exactly what I want. I want uh, fidelity of 2, smoothness of 1. I want everything unchecked except for the edit selected pass and then just within nine pixels. This looks good. I'm going to hit OK. And then over to the brushes. I'm going to click on that and then double click on the brush that I'm going to use. And I'm going to change a few things here. I'm going to change the angle to 100, roundness 100, diameter 3, variation 3. I'm going to change these to fixed and I'm going to change I'm going to keep that to random. Now you can barely see this but it, there's a pressure option there. Now if I had a Wacom tablet I would want to pre select the pressure and because that would um, change my line variation de de depending on how much pressure I put on the pen on the Wacom tablet. So I'm going to leave it at actually I'm going to leave it at, at fixed and then hit OK. And now I'm going to zoom in a little bit and go back to my brushes and then I want to change my the colors of these um, of my uh, foreground and background a little bit. I want to go to the default. I've got a black uh, line and a white fill. I want no fill so I have the white in the foreground. I'm going to click the the none so I've got just a black line I'm going to be working with. So with just a basic sketch I can do something like this and I can already see that my brush size is too big so I'm going to hit control Z to back up and go back into my brush and change that to maybe 1.5 and just go with that see how that works probably a little better and drawing with the mouse is a little hard but it's not terribly bad um, I'm going to just do the outline of this and then do the details um, the smooth option is what you're seeing happening when uh, when I let go of the mouse. Like my hand is a little shaky, I'm getting kind of a jagged line. But when I let go, it smooths that line out. So that's what smooth. I had that at a smoothing of one, and I can just keep. I'm using the uh, the uh, the wheel to scroll down a little bit, and then just let that go off like that, and then bring this up like this and I could spend more time with this um, but in the tutorial I just want to go kind of quickly and just do some things like that bring the fingers down of course that's way off so I can hit again control Z to take that away And that's a little bit better, just as a rough sketch. And I'm just going to go with what I get from here on out. And a few little lines here, get these nails in. And then some of the creases there, there, there. And then maybe a little. Thing here 
and that'll give you an idea of how this works. I'm, I'm going to go back to the uh, to the layers, and I'm going to toggle the actual sketch off by hitting the eyeball, and you can see what I got from that. So it's not too bad, not too good, but it gives you uh, the, just the uh, the concept of what you, how you need to set up your brushes and some of the changes that you'll need to make depending on depending on the the sketch or the drawing that you're working with. So that's all for this video.